As promised, we are here with wolves and ghouls. Oh my gosh. Can I stab you while you're on my horse? Alright. Horse is fear. Alright, so it looks like our horse is a big noob when it comes to combat. We cannot trust him to help us fight. Ghouls, I know, are weak to fire, so we are going to... I think they're ghouls, right? So I don't think the Silver Sword does do bonus damage. I think we'll go with our, our standard. I'm kind of trying to take it slow here, so I don't want to have to fight all of them at the same time. Gosh, because there are a lot of them. Are they feasting upon things right now? Oh, come on. I used my spell. All right, there we go. Oh, actually, these ghouls aren't as weak to fire as I thought they were going to be. Show me what you got. What? Ah. Missed. I'm trying to stun him. Stun him up a little bit. Dang, we took very little damage. I'll take it. Oh, who are these people? Were we helping these farmers get their lands back? Was this like an actual quest and we didn't even know it? I like how it magically turned into day. I'll take the accidental quest. This area has been liberated. Its populace has returned. Yeah, Interesting. So wait, who's the... So it's not, it was an abandoned site, but it's no longer an abandoned site. We've got a shopkeeper that came back, which is nice. I guess it was a sawmill. Top quality furniture grade wood. Okay. Well, that's cool. I didn't know you could help the world like this. I don't know what faction these guys are a part of. But I do... Oh, good. Enhance our items here. Because they have a... What is it called? A sharpening stone? I'm trying to think, like, I'm looking around to see if there's anyone who... We can't lose hope. Oh! Oh, sorry, sir. Greetings. We did help you guys. Greetings! Show me a whiz. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I'm trying to think, how much weight do we have? So we're at 17 pounds. So we could sell some of these. So the base damage is higher. Oh my gosh, this thing is buns, dude. So how much does it sell for? Two? Oh my gosh. So these have higher armor, it looks like, than our pantaloons. Interesting. So it does look like they you can start finding better gear pretty dang early in this game. Now the question is, is I guess it has to be at the blacksmith is where you can start taking this stuff apart. Okay, so there's a bunch of things that we can buy here. Man, even water is really expensive. Okay. Fare with you, well. Farewell. Let's go ahead and equip these pants. Because they do look better than our, I guess, hunting trousers. Quality is not higher, but look and fly, boy. Look and fly. The other ones definitely look cooler. There's no doubt about it, but I'm all about that AC life. Nothing left but the parade. Back evil spares us at least. Yeah, I was trying to figure out if there was anything else here for us. Oh, they're the corpses from the ghouls. Godspeed your work. Where'd you come from? I like that you can just burn these hives and then get all their delicious honey. That's always a good free food source, which is nice. I guess also meat, right? I guess at some point we have to like cook that meat. I don't know exactly how that all works, but... <laughs> a dead rabbit. Oh, that's cool. Collateral damage. So it is cool that you can help the world and there are like a events that happen. Even accidental ones. Alright, so 
There was a con. There's like multiple quests in town, and I kind of want to go and check them out. I because I don't know. All right, so let's say we do this one, right? The main quest. So it has multiple pieces. So let's say we do this, right? Try to go on the map here. Oh, it's right next to us. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll come and we'll grab this. We'll talk to the herbalist. They'll talk to this guy, and then we'll ride into town and grab quests along the way as well. Come on. Any time of day, Grandma. <laughs> You're killing me. Yeah, the horse controls could definitely be a lot better, that's for sure. Alright, let's take a look here. Eblist, hello. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar takes poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Hmm. Griffin do that? Griffin do that to her? Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Hmm. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the Buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars, something, something. Ah, <laughs> good to know the black ones looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Hmm. Okay. So we know where to find the Buckthorn now. I don't think we have a healing potion, unfortunately. I would like to try to help her. I mean, she might die, but... How do we make a Swallow? That's what I want to know. I don't know if we even have the components to do it. But let's take a quick look. Quick sort. So it's not in this menu. Oh, no, here we go. Alchemy. Ingredients. Descriptions. Okay. Types. Formulas. All right, where's Swallow? Necrophage oil. Oh. Spectre oil, potions, cats. Oh, here we go. So we need more... Was it Kellyander? Zillyander? Hmm. I wonder if she sells it. I mean, I wouldn't mind just buying one. Yes. For the quest purposes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. All right, where it is? Here it is. Cost five, it looks like. That's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and... Tell me something about yourself. 
What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Nenake refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Hmm. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. Let's go ahead and make that potion for her. Accelerates vitality, regeneration, pauses for two seconds upon receiving damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and figure out what this does. Wait, how do we... How do we do this? Or yes. Do you have to ask her? Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why do you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Well, thank you, lady. Ooh, we leveled. Nice. Alright, did we... I want to know what happens yes. to her. Oh, wow. Farewell. That quest gave us a boatload of XP. And 50 crowns. Let's go. This is good to be... Alright. Is she going to be mad at us for taking her herbs? Cursed manuscript. Sweat and blood. What is that? A veil hangs between the world of men see and when they cannot. The veil blocks the dead from viewing the living. The living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break this veil and communicate with the dead. Or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. The art is known as necromancy. The dead can break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Unlike necromancers. Yeah, yeah unlike necromancers. In doing so, they're not driven by the reason and will. But by thoughtfulness. Irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. I wonder if that's with the race where we have to kill them with our silver swords. Very often these emotions gain power by being invested in material objects by the dead individual whilst they were still in life. The objects most likely are most frequently so endowing wedding rings, favorite toys, instruments used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the world in the first place. So we kind of knew that already. Well, not in the game, but... I hope that she has a bunch of, of, what is that, the healing potion item. Started with a C. Dang, dude. Plague Maidens. But we'll go ahead and loot this place and be right back. And we are back, so I've looked through the crafting menus, it's pretty cool. We can actually almost make this warrior's jacket. Why are we just need one more of, but then we need these leather scraps? Which to do that, I think we need to take the hides and dis disassemble them, but I think we need a crafting bench to do that. We did level, but on the way here, we are really close to the place to where we can get the herbs. Alright, I've never been swimming before, so this will be really interesting. 
you see to dive space to swim towards the street. Keep an eye on breathing. I can do that. Okay, so that's what we needed from a quest perspective. What else is down here, though? Might as well grab some extra just in case. I was wondering if maybe we could find some food. Oh, there's a chest over there. I'm so glad that we are actually exploring. So let's grab this one and then we'll pop to the top real quick. Surface space. Yeah, I definitely want that chest. There's no doubt about it. You know, your boy loves loot. He wants all the loot. Master's gloves. Let's go. So we got some formulas as well. Wait, no, that's the chest we just looted. Anything else good down here? Doesn't look like it. Man, let's go, dude. You, your boy's all about armor. Right? So from here, foils. Oh yeah, we did, we made some, oh, we do have some swallow. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and throw that, I don't know, what is this? 5% stamina regeneration. I don't exactly know how stamina works, but let's go ahead and grab this one for now. We'll put this one here. Just in case we do need some in combat healing, I'm assuming we will versus, can we put these? No, so they have to be here as well. All right, so we got some, I just don't know about these, these tawny things. It gives us stamina regeneration. I think, is stamina how fast your spells come back? Or is that your ability to not get stunned? I was trying to figure out like when I'm dropping autos, right? Is that my stamina or anything going down? Is that that red bar underneath my health? I still can't figure that out yet. It hasn't given me enough indication of what that truly means what it does. Okay, so that's good. So at least we finished this part of the quest, which is a plus. And then we do need to go down here, but I think there's a quest right here as well. So we will do that. And we will be right back. And I think this is the house that we needed to go in. Let's hope. Yes, here's a guy. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? Cause earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle is turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Hmm. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. Hmm. Describe the ghost. This ghost. Describe it for me. Sounds like a well, wraith. It's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Hmm. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I'll help him. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. How close is it? Punish the spirit that haunts. Because there's another quest right here as well. Wait, where? Oh, it's way to the south. 
Okay, that's not too bad. We'll bop over here as well and grab this quest on the way. And I think the uh, the hunter is on the way as well. I wish that you could pull up multiple quests at a time. That's one thing that kind of makes me a little bit sad about certain games. Like, they don't create... I like when all the quests are on your map at the same time. And yes, you can make yeah, one like a main quest. Winds howling. This game is so interesting, you know? You're like this powerful witcher running around, doing quests, saving the world. And it's so funny how you spend so much time, like, picking up random herbs. I almost wish that you could get, like, a person to follow you, like a squire or something along those lines. You'd be like, you pick up all the herbs that we run by. <laughs> you know what I mean? Looks like this dude's playing some hide and seek. Alright, let's go ahead and... I will continue my travels. Walls. As soon as I end the recording, literally, we bump into the hunter's house, and it looks like his footsteps... How do you... Oh, maybe you have to actually analyze them. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. Oh, okay, that's cool. We're gonna grab herbs along the way for sure as well, because those are healing. The, the yellow ones are really important. Oh, there's a... Oh, there he is. He's not far at all. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. More dangerous than wolves? Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. <laughs> wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though, so step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes. And they hate men something fierce. Alright, let's sprint, bro. Where are we going? Alright, we got deer over there. Okay. Let's pull our blade. Too late. Attacked another one. Uh, no, I used my spell. What the heck? I was trying to hit the. I was trying to hit him with the quad. Oh, he's actually shooting with the bow. That's cool. Nice. Covered in scabies. Aw, oh, they killed somebody. That's sad. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. That was before. Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> I'm a freak too. Why? But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. 
Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. Mm. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Ah, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. As we sprint through the woods, making a lot of noise. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Where are we going, buddy boy? Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Not the first Griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. So do you, I wonder if they will have us put down our... The Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. This is where we put down the, the trap. Um, okay. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Something over there. Sounds like wolves. Yep. We're supposed to fight these guys? They're actually running away. It is interesting how. Oh! It's interesting how I don't like that you can't cast spells on the run. Or maybe you can. Okay, sometimes, like, I'm hitting it, and the game is just not responsive. Which is making me kind of sad, because... I hate the fact that, like, I miss my spells, because... My guy won't be... He's, like, he's not responsive enough. Alright, let's go back to the area. I just didn't want to get ganked. Alright, what else do we need to eyeball here? was kind of anticlimactic. Is there something else that we're supposed to be able to find here? I'm just not seeing it. Nothing's glowing. Oh, here we go. Footsteps. These prints are older and deeper. Heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Oh, they want us to actually follow the trail. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll follow this trail and figure out... I don't know if we're supposed to fight the griffin right now uh, I would, i'd like to get some potions built but we'll figure it out in the next episode this has been tiger tran and i'll see you guys next time